Hey, good morning from Colorado Custom Coachworks. Uh, just gonna update you guys. Mike is gone, uh, not for good. He went down to a festival, um, and uh, so I'm hanging out, minding my own business. But th but then. Steampunk Steve showed up. Steve, why don't you update us on what you've been up to? He was still sleeping when I got here. True. But that's nothing. <laughs> uh, I've been all over the place. I just came out of uh, North and South Dakota and uh, you know, seeing crazy horses and uh, Mount Rushmore. A couple of surprising, if you look at my videos, there's some surprising places. That, I've been to Carhenge, you gotta go to Carhenge. I've heard of that. Yeah. There's, yeah. I don't have to go to England now. I've seen a hand. <laughs> Great. So let me walk you guys into what we're doing today. Um, this is uh, below the, the subfloor. Uh, I didn't uh, screw these in. Uh, when I left Canada, I also didn't realize that I needed to take some of the insulation with me. I purposely didn't have anything here because I was going to do something else, some sound insulation stuff. Actually, this fantastic product right here. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to stop at the hardware store, get uh, one sheet of insulation, put it in, boom, boom, boom. Day. This Steam is a construction notebook. <laughs> That's funny. Steambug Steve is uh, at it. We added uh, proper insulation. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have most of the nailers in. There are some spots where we need to custom make some things. Let me see if I can show you the other direction because the lighting is better. But yeah, we'll have to like make a little thing there, make a little thing here. But that's where the cedar is going to nail into the wood to keep it secure. Now uh, Steve and I are now working on the uh, 1x4s and the reason to do that is because we're spray foaming uh, the entire ceiling and the walls and then we're going to put you know, plywood on the walls down there well, to create a wall and uh, yeah so that's it. That's how life is going right this moment. Alright ladies and gentlemen now we completed all the uh, Nailers. I'm not sure if that's the best term, but that's the term we're going to use. And basically, if you're just kind of tuning in, um, I'm going to run wood slats down this way. So you have to have something to nail into. Uh, Mike did it a slightly different way. He put quarter inch uh, plywood, basically, uh, on top of the metal, right? So it went about that wide. And then he nailed into that. I chose to do it this way, so there's a little bit more meat a little bit more grab with the nail. Uh, as you know, I am not a professional builder, so I just thought, you know, maybe this might be more secure. Who knows? More than one way to skin a cat. And also, Steve Punk Steve just uh, commented that he wants to do glue on here as well. So uh, hopefully, he won't have too much uh, movement on the ceiling. In next order of business, we are going to play with the subfloor. We are going to remove the seat. We're going to put the plywood over. Uh, and I have this uh, lovely, very expensive sound insulation Dynapad. I recommend it. Unless you're on like an ultra budget, I don't recommend it. Because all it does is sound, and that is just the comfort of life. This stuff is about $100 a roll. All right, just to check in with you guys, what's going on in the life of Jackson is crazy vegetable oil bus. We got this stuff, Rattle Trap. You guys, if you saw the previous bus I built, I used Dynamat. And Dynamat, let's just say, they love taking your money. It's expensive stuff. Uh, I got a 50 square foot roll for 100 bucks. Uh, when I was in Canada, they didn't have this stuff. The shipping was probably $1,000 joking obviously but like you know the shipping issues uh, so it wasn't a possibility but I could have done 
wrap the whole bus or the floors for $400. Now you guys know I spent $50 on this ice and water shield and this is much denser than this. Um, this is made for insulating sound. This is made for waterproofing the side of your house. So uh, this stuff is inherently better. Rattle trap. I'm going to try and use as much as possible in the front. Probably going to do a couple layers. Uh, we're going to take this out, do the under part of that. It's going to reduce the noise significantly. All right. Now that uh, this part is covered with uh, two to three layers, uh, I feel like that's a pretty soundproof thing. In the front, um, there was a black, uh, actually even previously in the same video you could tell, but uh, I know the lighting is a little bad, but there's this sound deadening stuff that I just ripped out. Uh, I have better stuff, so why not use the better stuff? There's fans going in the background, it's a hot day, so bear with me. Uh, I removed all of that quote-unquote insulation, so this whole wall is exposed. And you guessed it, guys, I'm going to put more of this stuff right on the wall, and uh, we're going to quiet this puppy down. All right, here is the progress. It's completely rattle-trapped. Now, I don't know if this stuff is better than Dynamat. Uh, not saying it is, not saying it's not, but... Uh, I went with this one because for 50 square feet it was $110. If you buy two, it's 200. That's not an advertisement, just the facts. I got two individual rolls because I wasn't sure how many rolls I was going to use. Turns out I'm using both rolls. Now we're going to put everything back together, and uh, we're going to put some insulation in these two boxes. We're going to that's a little access part, so we're going to go around that and then put a flat piece piece of uh, wood over it which is actually our um, our table just to the right of Steve that's where we have been working on it's our workbench so we're gonna get this back installed all the steps will be done at some point uh, with the sound insulation that's where a lot of the engine noise comes from all right here's the state of the world state of Jax's world besides the fact my hands are dirty my palms are sweaty Whatever the rest of the M&M &M song is. I've got ice in my mouth. Anyways, the plate's going down. The insulation is down. The rattle trap is down. This is an exciting moment in the world that's going to be hidden. It's going to look like the seat is sitting right on the wood floors. Mike uh, recommended this. Steampunk Steve wanted to go with it. I almost reverted and had this sit on top of the subfloor. That's a subfloor. If you haven't been paying attention. Let's go check, with, check in with Steve. Steampunk Steve! Here's basic layout. <laughs> yes. All right, now if anyone's taken uh, simple, uh, what, like, what does this be, geometry? We got our X axis, we got our Y axis, we got our Steve axis. Full axis. Full, full axis. So we have our numbers, basically one of them's off, and uh, this, this way, is the forward, just like the bus. 30, 39, 39, half, 39, and a quarter, and 48. That is from... From here, so from, I measured over. Yep, from that side, so he's got a little reference point, he's got a mark. And we know we're close, so... Yep, now he's making the straight line, so we, so we know, so somewhere along this, we're going to drill a hole, and, but what maybe Steve doesn't realize, or maybe he does, we're gonna have to. No, never mind. Forget what I said. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yes. We're gonna have to drill through the other side. Remember? Because we're going from the bottom. We're trying to like bore it out. But if we go this way, spade bits have a tendency to shatter the other side. If we do this way, it'll be a nice clean hole, and it'll blow out the other side, and nobody's ever gonna see it. Okay. So we're doing a hole. We're doing a full full hole. We're not gonna bore it out. We're just gonna go and do a big hole. Because you're going to cover it with your flooring. Good point. You're never going to see those bolts anyway. Excellent point. Maybe. Okay, this is an exciting moment, guys. Get ready. Get ready. We're going to put the subfloor in before you know it. Well, just to wrap up, what a fantastic job Steve and I did. Mostly Steve. <laughs> now, we... uh. We had a great, great time doing this. 
Uh, everything is, you already saw that stuff installed. We drilled the holes for this. So we're gonna have a seat that's essentially kind of floating on uh, wood floors. Um, <clears throat> some of these holes are for bolts. This anchors the seat. We gotta get longer ones that go down through that new hole. Uh, yeah, so that concludes this video. I've been trying hard to uh, keep some of the work together um, on the videos. That, that way it's like not like spread out. So, um, so yeah. So uh, don't forget that. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, put a lot of money and effort into these, and I feel like that would be a nice uh, thing in return. So we'll catch you in the next video. We're gonna be sanding the bus. Thank you.